Today we're revisiting exponent rules. Uh, this is something we just, we actually spent three days on this a couple of weeks ago. But I had some emails from two or three people letting me know that they were still confused. So I thought it was important that we take this day to jump back into this and make sure that there's some clarity. Uh, the first thing I want to do, and I'm starting on page, the first page, the product rule, is to take this table and help you puzzle out what the rule is. What we're really trying to do here <clears throat> is discover why these rules that we will be um, using these sheets for over the next class period um, are the rules that they are. I could just tell you, hey, this is the rule. I want you guys to always uh, add the exponents when you multiply the bases, but unless you've experienced this activity, you forget them. Um, and I'll be honest, I don't expect you guys to memorize these, but over the course of our unit, um, I do expect you to get better at using these rules. So today and tomorrow um, and Thursday, we're going to be doing some work to take these proof sheets turn them into some notes that you can use over and over again as you're working on these activities. So before you come to class tomorrow, it's going to be really important that you've dug into these tables at least and tried to make sense of what is happening. Um, I will also post full pages of what my answers are so that you can do some work looking at how I worded these, which might be slightly different than the key I left before. Uh, that key was not made by me. All right, so let's just go through a couple of these together. We're looking at the first example. <clears throat> See if I can zoom in a little bit more here. My green pen I used was not the best choice of writing tools I've made, so I'm gonna do some writing over here. So the first example is filled in for us. We have two to the second power times two to the third power. You'll see this two to the second power here and this two to the third power here. They've taken, we're taking these and we're writing them out in repeated multiplication. The answer is then two to the fifth power. What I tried to write here is two, which is two plus three. This two is the base two, and these are the exponents two and three. What I'm noting here is that there's five of them not six. We're not multiplying the exponents. We're adding them. So two plus three would be five. Let's do it again with this example. Three to the fourth power. So four threes separated by multiplication signs. And three to the fifth power. So times one, two, three, four, five. We have five more of them. And this ends up being three to the ninth power because there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Or a simpler way to do this would be to say three and four plus five gives us nine. Okay, I barely squeezed all the 11s in there. I'm not going to rewrite them, but I have 11 to the six times 11 to the eighth. So I wrote six 11s, and then I wrote eight more 11s. And I'm doing a short cut. Six plus eight is 14. So the exponent is 14. The base stays 11. Hopefully you're starting to see a pattern here. Notice with the fives, there's no exponent on five here. That means that it's invisible one. So I'm still going to write that five. And then one, two, three, four for the next base, five to the fourth. And then five to the third, we have one, two, three. Three more of them. That means when I'm adding these exponents, I'm adding one plus four plus three. That becomes five to the eighth power. Now, honestly, as you start going through these, Again, I, I know you did these a couple weeks ago, hopefully. You'll, it starts to get really redundant. You've like, you're like, I get the pattern. I don't want to write this out anymore. This is ridiculously long. I get it. I looked at this eight, X to the ninth and X to the seventh, and I thought, I do not want to write all those X's. 
So I just put the addition right here. It's 9 plus 7. That would have been 16 teeny tiny X's that I probably could not have fit into that space with my writing. Sorry, that, that is X to the 16th power because 9 plus 7 is 16. The idea with this is then you're going to try to put into words what you've just discovered up here. This is how I put it for this example. Determine a general rule for what happens when we have two exponential expressions multiplying each other with the same base. Okay, that's what's going on up here. I should say two or more expressions because on this one we had three and we were able to make this happen. But what is the rule I wrote? If the base is the same and the expressions are multiplied, then we add the exponents. That's what this rule is. Why do you think this rule is called the product rule? <clears throat> Repeated multiplication. That's what's going on right here. Really keep going back to the table. These down here are not asking you to make anything up. It's, me, it's asking you to put into words what you've started to notice happening. So what we noticed here is that the base is being multiplied over and over. But what we're doing is we're adding how many times that happens to show how many of those exponents, how many of the base. Um, are determined by the exponent. Okay, so this is going to be a challenge. I don't want to talk too much because I want you to have time to go through this. Really take your time reading through. Sometimes you'll see me giving hints that it's too much to write. Can you find another way? Sometimes you'll be like, I'm over this already. Um, so again, I will post some pictures of these. And if you have questions, before Wednesday, let me know. Otherwise, in class Wednesday, we're going to get started by using these in our next piece. Thanks.